The Weber grill is simply just about as good as grills get. It's great for cooking steaks and anything that requires high, even heat. You might be surprised to learn, however, that with the simple addition of a few sheets of aluminum foil, it can also function as a very effective smoker. In this video, we'll show you how you can use your Weber grill to rival the results of a dedicated smoker. Today we're smoking a Boston butt. Begin by trimming all excess fat. Next we need to inject the meat. I used to skip this step and I thought I was happy with the results. My barbecue was much better than what the barbecue restaurants were serving, so I thought there was no need to inject. One day, just as an experiment, I tried it. It makes a huge difference. Don't skip this step. Use a paper towel to pat the meat dry. Then put a light coating of yellow mustard all over. Next, it is time to apply the rub. If you have a favorite rub, use it. This is my favorite rub, Magic Dust. It's created by Mike Mills of the 17th Street Bar and Grill in Murfreesboro, Illinois. Be sure and apply the rub to all sides of the meat. The Weber grill is designed for cooking at 500 to 600 degrees. We only want to cook at about 250 degrees, so we've got to cut down the airflow just a bit. This is the crux of using a Weber grill to smoke. Fold up a couple pieces of aluminum foil into 6 inch by 6 inch pieces. Place them in the grill between the fire and the meat. It is critical that no direct radiant heat from the fire is able to reach the meat. Get your charcoal started in a chimney starter and do not use lighter fluid. In this instance we're using a paper towel soaked with vegetable oil. It'll usually take about 10 minutes to fully light. Notice how the charcoal is separated by the aluminum foil from the portion of the grill where the meat will be placed. It's optional, but I prefer to use a water pan to keep some steam in the cooking chamber. Finally, it's time to put the meat on. Add some hickory chips for smoke. Put the lid on and close those top vents down a little bit. Hold the heat down. About every 45 minutes you have to add water and 
get the chips. Put an oven thermometer in there to measure the temperature. Expect the total cooking time to run somewhere in the 12 to 17 hour range. 250 degrees. Perfect. Actually, lucky too. Just keep it in the 225 to 275 range, you'll be fine. Over the course of the day, you're probably going to have to add charcoal two or three times. After about 10 hours, I flipped the meat and, and I continue flipping it every couple hours after that. During the last three or four hours, Mop the meat every 45 minutes or an hour. Don't be scared of that vinegar. Your meat will not taste like vinegar. It'll be good. Continue cooking the meat until it reaches 195 degrees. Use a probe thermometer for this. Mopping the meat is just a little more challenging with a probe thermometer in there, but be sure and do it. I'll be back, but right now I gotta go. Sounds like they may have found me. Now we're just waiting on the internal temperature of the meat to come up to 195. I'll be honest, this part takes a little patience. Wrap the meat and let it rest 10-15 minutes. After the meat is rested, break off whatever portion you're going to serve immediately and remove any obvious pieces of fat. Don't worry about completely cleaning the meat of all fat, but get rid of the big chunks. To be perfectly honest with you, I recorded this video about five or six weeks ago and I just now got around to editing it. The editing process has made me hungry, so I'm going to the store to get a Boston butt. Good luck with yours.